even though Suicide Squad 2 is hitting theaters and HBO Max this upcoming August, director David Ayers of the very first Suicide Squad said that his first version of the film, his first cut, spooked. I mean, absolutely scared the out of Warner Brothers executives. Now we've all seen the Snyder Cut of Justice League. So a lot of people are thinking there might be a chance that we could see the David Ayer cut of the Suicide Squad. That's right, there's a cut out there that exists that's way more totally different than the, yeah, that version that we got in theaters. Could we possibly see it? Well, according to Warner Brothers boss and Sarnoff, I think I'm pronouncing her name right, we ain't gonna see that cut no time soon. She said pretty much definitively, no, we will not. You will not, I will not be seeing a director's cut of David Ayer's original movie, the first film, The Suicide Squad, unfortunately. Now, an article posted on comicbookmovie.com, David Ayers basically spoke about his tug of war that he was having with the executives over there at Warner Brothers, which of course, guess what? Who would have thought? That's been a continuing theme over at Warner Brothers for like the last, what, five years maybe? Somewhere around there, five or six years? Now, David Ayers have always maintained that Warner Brothers executives basically butchered and chopped up his version of the Suicide Squad. He said that the executives over there at Warner Brothers made extensive alterations to his film. So the version we got in theaters was not his vision plan or his dream movie or the movie that he actually intended to be in theaters and shown to us. David Ayers has clashed with Warner Brothers just like Zack Snyder. It's not gonna stop anytime soon because it's just total chaos. It's absolutely mayhem over there at WB headquarters, y'all. Now David Ayers, according to the article in comicbookmovie.com, David Ayers talked about his tug of war with Warner execs. Now David Ayers said, Ah, yeah, I get it. It's a business. It's frustrating, David Ayer said to Entertainment Weekly. It's frustrating because I made a really heartfelt drama and it got ripped into pieces. And they tried to turn it into Deadpool, which it just wasn't supposed to be. And then you take the hit. You're the captain of the ship. My name was on it. Even though it didn't represent what I actually made, I would take all the bullets and be a good soldier. I made an amazing movie. It's an amazing movie. It just scared the shit out of executives. And that's crazy, you know, like I just don't understand time after time we hear these war stories and these tug of war stories that these directors are put on the front lines for, you know, the, their product, you know, the movie that they made. You know, they want their movie to be seen in its true artistic form. And Warner Brothers, for whatever reason, they still continue to do it at a certain level. But a couple years ago, back when, you know, Zack Snyder was running this, you know, the whole, you know, DCEU over there. And when David Ayers was doing the Suicide Squad, Warner Brothers was just not feeling it for whatever reason. So they ripped apart Zack Snyder's Batman versus Superman, a Superman versus Batman film. Then they ripped apart, obviously, as we all know, classically, they ripped apart the Justice League, and that brought us the, the Snyder Cut of the movie. So Warner Brothers, like, it's just not only too many cooks in the kitchen over there stirring the pot over there at the WB, but Warner Brothers just, they, they don't know what they want to do. I mean, just flat out, they don't know what the hell they want to do. And it's sad because, I mean, Warner is so, so, Warner has so many timeless stories that can be told from the comics and things of that nature involving Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, the Justice League, all of these awesome heroes, but they just want to just, I don't know, they don't, they want to meddle. They want to meddle in the director's business and they just don't know, or they know what us fans of these movies and these heroes want, but they want to do their own thing. They want to go against the grain. I mean, they have the money, so they figure... We could do whatever we want to do, put whatever kind of product out. And guess what? Y'all, which is you and me, the people are going to flock to see it no matter what. And this could be a trend that could come back to haunt them. And it has come back to haunt them in so many different ways. I mean, they spent close to a hundred million dollars, almost between 70 and hundred million dollars on the Snyder Cut, you know, which they could have kept in their pockets 
if they would have did the film the right way the first time. I mean, just take some some cues, some clues, some some hints from Marvel. Look at what Marvel is doing. Marvel is just and and full disclosure here. Come on now, that's right. I'm gonna let y'all know. Full disclosure. I'm a DC fan. I love DC. I've always been a DC kid, a DC dude ever since I was young, ever since I was a child. But Marvel has, has, has done it outstandingly well. And that brand is just, you can't tarnish the Marvel brand. And DC is still struggling, scratching and fighting, trying to catch up to Marvel. And this is a particular reason why, the reason why David Ayers, this is this reason. I'm now Marvel, now don't get me wrong. Warner Brothers could completely do it right by the Suicide Squad 2, which is coming out in a couple months in August, and that trailer looks amazing. But the way they handled the first Suicide Squad and David Ayers was just totally incorrect and totally wrong. You know? And this is one of the reasons why WB, Warner Brothers, will be continuing to scratch and, and starve and scratch and move slow and on their knees trying to catch up to Marvel because Marvel is just light years ahead of them when it comes to the product and the way they treat their workers, their co-workers, which are the directors, the actors, and the producers, and things of that nature. I don't know. We'll see what happens, y'all. I just don't know. It's a Warner Brothers thing. <laughs> Go figure. Yo, I'll check y'all later. It's your boy, AP.